This is part two of the modifications for a uh, Power Wheels Jeep that I'm doing for my niece with spina bifida. It's a uh, thing that help, happens to kids and they just don't have very good strength in their legs like other kids do. But in this video, I'm going to go ahead and pull this off and replace it with a T-bar that you will be able to uh, turn easier than the wheel. And uh, I got a parts list here. I just want to show you these. These are some of the things I have. I don't know what this is called, but I can try to figure it out for you. It's, uh, it's, a, it's actually, I think it's a two inch by inch and a quarter uh, bushing is what it's called. Uh, I got half inch T pipe or half inch T, whatever this is called. These are the handles that I'm going to use and they are three and a half inches long. Two of those, one for each side. Uh, I got this, um, this is a bushing as well. It's a one inch by a uh, half inch. It reduces one inch to half inch. Then I got this here. It's another little short piece. I think this is about an inch and a half long. It's for um, to hold some pieces together. Uh, you need electrical tape and then you need this stuff. This is inch and a quarter pipe and uh, I cut it down to about um, I think it's four inches long. And so what I'm going to do these are all the parts that are going to be that are going to make up the T handle for the steering wheel. Well, the first thing you got to do to get these steering wheels off are poke two holes here, and you and you'll find two screws, two Phillips head screwdriver, two Phillips head screws that you need to use a Phillips head screwdriver for. Loosen those up, and this pops off. And it's just a little cap. Then under the cap, you'll see there's a nut on here, and you just need to get have to get that nut loose. And I used a 15 inch. A 15 inch, 15 millimeter wrench, and it loosened this up. You could probably, I don't know if that was the right size or not, but it worked. Then you get that nut off, and then the steering wheel pulls up off of here. If I can get it off there, and you can see it looks like this. It see how the has the hole, and then it has two little wing pieces that come out the sides, and they are there to give grip to this. This is the bolt that comes up, it's threaded up on the end and it has these two little wings that come off and that's what the steering wheel grabs to turn this back and forth to turn the wheels. So to put this together, first thing you need is this four inch piece of PVC pipe and uh, four inch long in by inch and a half. Inch and, inch and a half? Yeah, inch and a half. It goes in here and it is the exact size of this hole so it can slide in there like this. Then uh, what you want to do, I'll go ahead and show you this, you want to uh, take this bushing and there's a little lip on one part of this, it's right here is where the, it's not focusing very well, but back here in this back was a, uh, a little lip that prevented the pipe from going all the way through it. Well in our case we want the pipe to go all the way through so I took a razor knife and I cut this out and it wasn't that bad but see now the, now it can slide, the pipe can slide all the way through. What this allows us to do is it will glue it on and it'll create a stopping point so that this thing doesn't slide back in there, back into the, uh, under the dash all the way. So, what else we need is one of these, we need to cut out a piece of wood. Um, this has just come from a dowel rod and uh, it just needs to be small enough that it can fit inside of here. And the tighter it is, the better, but it needs to fit inside of here. Once you get this uh, hole cut, you need to cut out the two little wings that are going to uh, attach, that are going to go around this, around these uh, wings on here. I guess not really wings, just more like notches. Well, I have one of these screwdrivers. It's just a little small, small screwdriver set. And this is the smallest straight screwdriver that was in there, and I thought I would never use it. But I did, and I made, um, I used it to cut out two little wings out of this piece of wood like this. This, uh, those wings are what will go down around these, uh, around those wings on there so that it can turn the wheels. You can see the wheels turning. But this is the best thing I can come up with. So what you need to do next is you need to, this is going to be two, I need to cut this in half right, right here where the two pieces of tape are. Because what I want to do what you want to do with this is you want to put it face down in here and knit and uh, wedge it down in there. That's what the black electrical tape is on here for to make it a little bit tighter fit. So when it goes in there, it'll hold real tight because 
that's what's going to that's what the this is what the child will use to turn the steering wheel back and forth. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half and I'll and I will put this in there. Okay, so this is cut in half, and what you want to do with this is you're gonna put it in here and you're gonna wedge it down in there. And you want to make sure you put the wings, the little wings you cut out, facing down so that way it can grab on to the bolt like it's supposed to. One, and then to judge how far it should go in, this piece, this bushing, the, the uh, one to half inch bushing is going to go in here and it's going to go all the way down and the piece of wood should rest right under, should rest underneath here so that this can fit all the way in and that piece of wood is back underneath it. And then once we have that in place, oops, we're going to take this little short piece, it goes in here, then the T goes on top of that. And when you compress this together, that, that piece will be completely hidden. But right now I'm not going to put it together because i got to still put it together. Then you want to put the handles in. And there's one handle. And this is the other handle. Then it will, it should, when it goes in, it'll look like this. And this is the handle, and it'll turn back and forth so the child can turn the uh, vehicle back and forth. Turn the wheels. So... I am going to go ahead and try to put these pieces together and I will show you what it looks like. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this is supposed to be about one inch and the reason for it is so that it slides on here like this. Then we can put that nut on here to hold it on so that the child won't be able to pull the T-bar off. So you want this to be about one inch and uh, here we go. Looks like this. About one inch, and this one does not have the little uh, ridges cut in it for the wings. But one inch, so that some of this nut sticks up above, or some of these threads stick up above it, so you can put the nut back on. So, anyway, I'll get started. So, the problem that you're probably going to end up having, if you don't do this right, is that that little piece of wood will spin inside of here, and uh, the wheels won't turn. So what you want to do, or what I did, is I found where the, about where the middle of that wood was, and I drilled a small hole through the pipe and then into the wood, and I got this little pin here, this is just some extra wire I had, and I stuck it down in there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off, and that's just going to act as, a, uh, as something else to help hold that wood straight or hold the wood into the pipe so that it doesn't spin. You might be able to put some glue down in here or something like that to help hold it, and those would probably work too. But I'm going to do this, and I'm going to snip it off, and then it will just be flush on top here. So there's the pin. It's cut off, and I ground it. I had to use a grinder and grind it down. But uh, when you put it into, the, uh, into this other bushing, it will all be uh, hidden. Actually, it won't be hidden. This thing, this thing will hold the pin in, so you don't have to worry about trying to glue it in or anything. But, there we go. So, now it's ready to put on here. And when this goes on, then, whoops, I'm not even showing you. I'm going to put this on, and once we get the, get the threads through, we want to put the nut back on to hold it on. Okay, so the nut is, on, is in place. And next thing to do is to... Uh, you can try to you can reach underneath here and push this pipe out to to bring it out a little bit more and to get a little bit more tension on the steering column uh, to just get it where you like it. But next thing to do is glue this on. Then I'm going to glue this in in there, and then it will be ready to have the uh, handles glued in. And uh, I'll probably glue these together first and mush this together real hard because I don't want any gap in here because I want this. I want the, the uh, T-handle to be as close to the steering column as possible. So I cut this small pipe, like I said, to an inch and a half, and I think that's about what it needs, or maybe it was one inch. Anyway, I'll have it in the comments, the sizes. But that'll go in there, and next thing to do would be to get it glued, make sure the wheels are straight, and then get this, to gl get this glued, make sure the wheels are straight, then glue this in here straight. And that should be about the end of it. So this is all glued together now. The uh, I put some end caps on to make it look a little nicer. And I'll probably sand these down a little bit, these, these corners here, to make them a little smoother. Not that they're rough now, but just make them smoother. Uh, and I glued it together with uh, PVC glue. This is cleaner, this is glue. I used uh, clear 
cleaner. Actually, they call this is actually called transparent, and this one is clear. And um, I don't know why that one's called transparent, but it's clear. You want to use the clear glue because if, they also comes in purple, and you don't want to have a bunch of purple mess sticking out of here that is near impossible to get off. But anyway, it's moving on. So this is the uh, piece that goes inside the steering wheel here. And what I'm going to do to attach it is I've drilled a hole. I put this in here. I lined it up. I lined up the wheels and I lined up uh, the handles. And I drilled the hole down through here. And I got this bolt that I, this, just a six by thirty-two bolt. And well, it's not going in right now because I'm only have one hand. But I'm put that down through there, and that will hold this uh, hold this straight on here. The only thing left to do is to glue this into place. And that's just a judgment call based on how much gap you want here. So I'll go ahead and get that and I'll show you what it looks like. So the screw went in okay. And I got it ground off the right length so that it doesn't stick out hardly at all. And there's no rough edges on it to catch a kid's finger. Now, just got to take it back apart, put it on here, put the nut on, and then put the screw back through and it will be completed. All right, so I got the nut on in the inside. This is glued on, and the screw went through just fine. Came out of here, and now it turns just fine, and it turns the wheels perfectly. And it's even, when it's straight, it looks like it's even going straight. Oh, good. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button to help other people find it easier. And again, this video is primarily aimed toward kids who have problems with their legs, pushing the uh, pedal. There's going to be another video coming up soon that uh, shows putting a button probably here or somewhere that uh, shows how to put a button up here to replace the uh, foot switch and I'll also show how I wire it up so that you can do it for yours too. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And If you have any good ideas, let me know those too and I may actually use them in one of my videos. Thank you.